Oh no. Well, this is home for the night. truck it's the Wawa Community Center sleeping here tonight all right good morning everyone it's 7 a.m. it's quite dark up here in uh, Wawa I moved the truck because uh, that uh, community center had tons of lamps just illuminating everything and I couldn't sleep so I moved to this little uh, whatever you might call it darker section Slept all right. Problem is, uh, my sleeping pad is deflating slowly, so I have to keep inflating it. And this is the sleeping pad that I'm gonna be taking on my trip, which is kind of a bummer. Hopefully, I can get that sorted out when we get to uh, Armstrong today. All right, I'm gonna get up and get going because uh, seven and a bit hours of driving today. So, ah, uh, let's do this. I didn't see those signs last night. No parking, no trespassing. Well, I didn't do anything inappropriate. My bad. It's just nice and dark here. All right, let's go get some breakfast. Oh God. JK. <laughs> North Shore of Lake Superior is beautiful driving. So we're gonna be Driving this highway for another two and a half hours, maybe three, and then we're gonna be heading up north towards Armstrong in our final destination. Here's as if we're gonna be on dirt road for the next three hours. <clears throat> Yay. This is definitely not the main road. The GPS took me on a, on a weird route. I don't know, like 30 or more kilometers till we meet up with the main road. Not too bad. Oh no. Oh no. It's broken. Oh, I just absolutely smoked this thing around the corner and I broke that. The, the suspension strut or something because this wheel is bent inward. This is not good. Well, I have my inReach. Oh, I'm so dumb. I was driving a little reckless. Like everything was good up until just like this washboard of logs and then it just went. That is not good. 
It's like control arm, I guess. I guess that's what it is. Upper control arm. <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna use my inReach. I'm gonna contact the outfitter, let them know what happened. Hopefully they can send a, a tow truck over here. And then uh, I'll just go from there. So I'm trying to send a message to the outfitter right now. I said, hey there, it's Xander Butnick. My truck broke down about an hour away from the lodge. I'm on Black Sturgeon Road and I need a tow. I hope they get back to me. It's a Sunday right now. Um, I also messaged my brother. Hopefully he, he reads that and he can help me out. Cause uh, not a great situation to be in. It's a seven kilometer hike to get to the road. I was being a little stupid. Let's go take a look at what I hit. Some big ruffled grouse up there. Or some sort of grouse. Are those? Yeah, those are big grouse. Wow. Yeah, this is what I hit. Saying message not sent. Great. Yeah, this is what I hit. Some of these. Maybe it was this one. But I didn't think... I didn't think it was going to be that bad. A little grousey grousey. Yeah, I went over this just a little too hard. Oh. And I paid for it. Alright, so I'm without GPS right now. I'll put the device up here. And it's saying that it's not sending. So... Okay. This thing here, that snapped on the other side. So all of this is just leaning inward. Let's see, it's like loose there and then the other part is like down in here. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Might not make that train tomorrow. I'm happy I have my inReach, but I'm not getting any connection right now. So, it's a bummer. Hi there, it's Xander Budnick. My truck broke down about an hour away from the lodge. I'm on Black Sturgeon Road and need a tow. <laughs> Sad face. I'm just, uh, it was putting up with so much crap until just those logs. It felt bad when I hit it. I just pulled my car just a little bit over. Maybe I didn't need to, I don't know. I mean, nobody's coming down this road. Probably for good reason. All right, just up the road. A um, little bit higher in elevation. Probably like 400 meters from my truck. Uh, the inreach went through. I messaged my brother. I messaged Bruce at the Outfitters. I messaged the Outfitters. It's 2.45 right now. Uh, we shall see when I can get a truck here and what that looks like because obviously I got a train tomorrow at you know, first thing in the morning and there's a few things I need to do around the, the lodge tonight staying at the lodge taking a train in the morning for a 14 day trip so we'll see if I can get my truck up there and then I can organize something in some way for them to get it to a shop and get it fixed up because otherwise uh, it'll be a long week <laughs> yeah, we'll see right I think it'll be good it'll be good in the end of the day things happen for a reason right Grateful I have my Garmin, and I'm uh, grateful that it's working. I'll show you where I'm at. So, no service, and then that's where I am. <laughs> I don't even think it shows if there's a road here or not. Yeah, there it is. Little gaps in the road. I'm supposed. To, I'm probably supposed to be on that road, but my GPS took me up somewhere up this way, kind of along this river. And then it got really rough around here and I just decided to continue and I almost got close to meeting up with the road again. Armstrong, which is right here. So about an hour away from Armstrong. Good news, I got a hold of Max. He said he's gonna call the outfitter. The outfitter got back to me, his name is Bruce. He said, oh my, not good, bad road. I will ponder this, Bruce, so. I guess he's going to try to figure that out. For me, for now, I just stay patient, I suppose. All right, update. So, 
Bruce is gonna call CAA and he asked me what my number was, but I don't have the CAA card on me. I don't know where it is. And I usually save the number of my documents on my phone, but my phone needs to connect to the internet to use the documents. So fortunately, I took a picture of my CAA card a while ago and, and that's still on my phone. So I got it, my CAA number. So now I can text Bruce my CAA number so he can send a tow truck here. And uh, I'm a CAA premium, so should be fine. So I have a bunch of time to kill. And I was gonna do these things at the Outfitters tonight, but because I'm gonna be there late, I'm gonna just do them now. My air mattress has a hole in it. So I'm gonna try to find that hole because it's really annoying to try to inflate it all throughout the night. Uh, the hole is very small and it's been there for a while, so it might be impossible to find, but I have a technique in which to find it. We're just gonna do it right here on the ground. There's soap water, this thing is inflated all the way. And uh, I'm just going to pour it all over this and look for the bubbles. Found it. That's a good feeling. Check it out. And you can actually hear it too. Cool. I think that's it. I think that's the only hole, but I'm gonna keep looking because I got time. But that's a good feeling because this air mattress has been a pain in the butt for the last couple couple times I've been out. Because when it's a big hole, you can find it quickly. And when it's a small hole, it just deflates over like at the course of a few hours and then you'll wake up only once or twice, but it's hard to find the hole. But I found the hole, so we're good to go. I slice right through it, obviously. That was dumb. Um, um. Currently 6.45. It's about three hours since the tow truck was called. They said it would take about three hours. So hopefully it's here any minute, but we're pretty remote, so who knows, right? Max texted me and uh, Bruce was saying that the road around here is really rough, or like this area. Hopefully it was the area behind me and not the area in front of me because uh, I don't want it to be difficult for the tow truck driver to come in. Otherwise, we're gonna have to call in Matt's off-road recovery, you know? But he's uh, a solid 35 hour drive from here. <laughs> Digging into my food for my trip. Uh, I always pack extra, but I need some kung fu, kung fu, kung pao, grilled chicken. I just watched Kung Fu Panda number one the other day. So good. I just got a message. It says, from my brother Max, he says, Hey man, ends up they haven't left yet. It's been six hours. Would it be better for you to be picked up first thing tomorrow morning? Probably better for everyone. The driver can come get you now, but would prefer tomorrow morning, if not too inconvenient. Not sure with your schedule. Let me know ASAP. Well, my train leaves first thing tomorrow morning, so it doesn't really work. Um, maybe I can see if they can come at like 6 a.m. or something. Because then that would work. Well, this is home for the night. So it's 10 o'clock, I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of shut eye. The tow truck driver's supposed to be here in two plus hours. Um, we'll see if he comes. My train's leaving tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. <laughs> I'll be good. Hey, good night, guys. Oh. How's it going? Oh. All right. Oh. Oh, there's a, there's a place back up there that you can turn around. I'll just scatter it out for you. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's a little further forward. Oh, yeah, you got it. Oh, no. oh my God. Nice. I 
place. Yeah, it's right right there. Okay, I'll grab the chains. Now oh, there's your problem. <laughs> Maps took me down this route, and I was like, okay, I got the 4x4, oh, yeah. and uh, I got most of the way through. All right, made it, made it to the Outfitters exactly 12 hours after my car broke down. Michael was awesome. We actually got the, almost got the truck stuck at one point, um, but we're here. I'm going to unload my stuff, and then he's going to take this thing to uh, Thunder Bay, where it's going to get repaired over the course of the time where I'm in the woods. Made it. Yeah, so, um, so I'm actually. So, did you guys get get to take a look at the truck at all? Okay, no worries. Oh, okay, yeah, of course. Oh, oh, of course, no problem. So, actually, I'm um, I'm actually about to go out on a 14 day canoe trip, and I am three hours north of you guys. <laughs> um, so, I was uh, my brother's back home in Toronto, and he can communicate with you guys. And as well as uh, I have an inReach, which is like a satellite communicator. Right, so, we made it to the train station. Everything is working out. I'm going to have the truck sent. Uh, well, it's actually in Thunder Bay now. I'm going to communicate with Max and the shop via inReach and get that all sorted out, and then have CAA tow it back to me um, for uh, the end of the trip. Everything's working out. Anyways, that's probably pretty much it for this episode. And thanks guys for watching. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into getting out for a trip that uh, you don't often always see. <laughs> this one being a little bit more hectic than usual, but that's all good. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Okay, well. 
Sir, you're awesome. Okay, I love you. you. I wish I was 40 years younger. Oh, man. But I'm going to awesome. keep doing oh, this as much as I can. I'm I'll, 67 now. I'll check out your content. Please. And I'd love to go with you or some. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk.